we're at the beginning of our hike and before we actually got started I wanted to uh, show you the fine job that uh, Mrs. Wah hiker did in giving Cooper his spring clip she does such a fine job with him come here Cooper Thanks for the comparison, bud. Cooper's paw <laughs> and a deer hoof. Oh, you just walk right over it. Thanks. <laughs> right down this trail. We are at our favorite local hiking spot. Cooper found this, by the way when he was a puppy. We were walking along the trail and uh, he stopped. I stopped. And we heard this creek. Came down this hill. And it's completely out of the way. Nobody comes down here. We have never disturbed any of this. Remember this? This is Cooper's uh, dehydrated uh, dog food that we did uh, a couple weeks ago well I need a cup for that and we are going to let that rehydrate but it's gonna be a, quite a while before we eat so the boiled water will uh, cool down this is a snow peak max light titanium canister stove So we're going to go canister stove today. I brought another one and I wanted to show you that one as well. One has a very distinct advantage over uh, this one. But for now we'll go ahead and boil uh, the two cups of water with this. And I've got the uh, legs folded in. There's another section that folds out but uh, these legs are pretty sturdy even on the uh, short version. So we've got two cups of water that we want boiled by the Snow Peak Max Light canister stove. There we go. So about four minutes outdoors temperature about uh, 45 degrees ah oh, peace and quiet <laughs> that's the only drawback with these canister stoves a bit noisy so I'm gonna grab a cup of this water for my coffee And then the other cup for Cooper's dehydrated dog food. We're going to go ahead and put it back in the cozy because this is driving Cooper crazy. Still needs to uh, rehydrate a little bit. And again, this is that tick. Cozy that I picked up several years ago from freezerbagcooking.com. I call it the Flame On Cozy. And this is cut and made so that uh, you can rehydrate uh, Mountain House meals. Very ingenious. Has an insulated liner inside. Then it has the uh, fold-over Velcro closure. Taste test. See how he does there. 
Okay, that's that uh, rehydrated dog food that we hydrated, uh, dehydrated, uh, what, two weeks ago? And Cooper, Cooper's given it uh, his uh, test. So far, so good. All done. And gone. <laughs> Cooper, it's gone. Good boy. It's done. It's done. Did you like that? Hmm? Like I said earlier, I brought out two canister stoves today. Here's the first one. And I have this smaller canister and the Snow Peak sitting out just to show you a comparison. Here's the second stove. It's by Optimus. And this is an entirely different concept. I mean, it is still a canister stove, but this is to be used or can be used in uh, cold weather situations and I will show you uh, more of that here a little bit later but uh, this is the Optimus Vega stove and both of these stoves are very light in their class And again, those things are loud. So this is burning in Econo mode. Let me show you how nice and wide that pot stand is. This is a GSI kettle. And you can see how nice that pot stand is. Nice and wide. I want to take this off just to show you the benefit of this particular stove in what they call turbo mode. On top of the valve here there are two legs that fold out and you only do this once the stove is lit put this in turbo mode and for cold weather operation you actually flip this over and it rests on those legs you turn the can upside down so now it's burning liquid fuel instead of gas and that goes into turbo mode you can see it heating up quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, water back on. And to bring it back to Econo mode, you just simply flip this can over, the canister over once again. And again, I don't have this cranked up very high. You can open it up quite a bit more. So I'm gonna bring this canister off over away from the flame. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. Because we're gonna be doing a lot of cooking here. So I need one cup of water here and there it goes into the freezer bag what I've put into that cozy was some good old Idahoan mashed potatoes so we will let that uh, just stay in there because I have uh, quite a bit more cooking to do I forgot to mention what that other cup of water was for some brown gravy over the mashed potatoes but wait there's more <laughs> just want to get these onions translucent
show you what kind of uh, pot I'm cooking with here. And there's that canister in uh, econo mode. Let's check on our onions here. These are bangers, or what we call here in the uh, States, sausages. One does not want to come out. Use my fingers here. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit more. It's actually pretty even uh, on this uh, frying pan. It's got the rings on the bottom that kind of helps to uh, bring the heat around. I've moved off the uh, bangers, and what I want to do now is uh, thicken up this uh, brown gravy. So I've put it on the Vega stove, and we're going to work this a bit. bring this up to a boil and then uh, let it sit to thicken up. Give you a shot of what the uh, bangers look like. So on our bed of onions, mash, there are the bangers. Pour on the brown gravy. And this, by the way, is lunch <laughs> and dinner. And I haven't eaten all day, so this is going to be perfect. Not a burnt pot. So there it is. Bangers and mash. With brown gravy and onions. Yum. <laughs> and Cooper is very curious about this. There it is. Bangers and mash. Outdoors at our favorite spot on a beautiful afternoon. Doesn't get any better than this. We are finishing up our hike, but uh, I just wanted to pause here and just say a big thank you to all of you. You, my new subscribers, subscribers that have been with me for a very long time, viewers and friends, once again, thank you for all your comments, all your support. I really do appreciate it. And once again, thanks for watching.